Thank you very much. <laughs> good to see you again. Good to see you. Tell how you've been, man. I've been great. How about you? You look good. Dodger Dog, Vin Scully, you, opening day, being able to throw a first pitch out, which may or may not happen within uh, the next 14 years that I have to catch uh, Jaime hey, hey. Harim. Uh, I just think that opening day is just something special. There's such an anticipation. I realize this isn't the opening of the season right now. Right, We've right. already opened, but on the opening of the season, there's such an anticipation. Even bad teams are, they're, they're not in last place on opening day. Right. One of the other things, not just to speak to how much you love this great game of baseball, where in the world did you come up with this idea, I'm going to see all five California teams in California stadiums? Well, it's pretty obvious. I don't have a whole lot else to do. <laughs> but if I did, uh, it's a, it's a, it's, it was just a, an idea based on uh, looking at the schedule and thinking, you know, there's a possibility I could see more than one game. And heck, then I might as well see if there's, you know, more than two games. And as it worked out, the sun and the stars and the moon all aligned perfectly on the one day that uh, Alex and I decided to uh, make that trip. It worked out well, and uh, we're thinking that uh, we're gonna do a sequel. We're gonna do one better. We're thinking that if five California baseball teams on the same day is good, how about all six Pacific Coast teams? And we'll include that team up in Seattle. I think just the idea of opening day is opening day. You get what you get. Uh, luckily, I have been to 49. This is my 50th, 28 and 21. We've got the Dodgers are 28 and 21 and the 49. So I'm just looking for number 29. <laughs> what are we gonna do? We don't know what to do now. We're here two hours before the game. <laughs>
worse than me. <laughs> attended a few more. Yeah, just a few. In 1973, Tony Lidoff and several of his buddies wanted to come see the Cincinnati Reds, who they're playing tonight, but that was in 73. And they said, ah, how can we afford these $3.50 tickets? But they came anyway. And Tony has not missed an opening day since. We just got him arriving at the ballpark. He's talked about, he's seen all the great pitchers from Koufax, Drysdale, Fernando Valenzuela, and he says Clayton Kershaw is the best. The biggest thing, he says, as a businessman, you have a lot of free time to plan for these type of things. He says the bottom line is it's been a ride of a lifetime. It means I don't have a whole lot else to do, uh, but it also means that uh, it's worthwhile to be a Dodger fan and be able to enjoy all the, uh, the, uh, the memories of coming for 50 straight years. Yeah, 50 straight years, and how weird is it to think that first game was against the Reds? By the way, since it's his 50th, he's raising money for the Dodgers Foundation with a GoFundMe page. Let Tony throw it on GoFundMe oh, so he wow. can give some money to the Dodger Foundation as well. And they want to honor him for throwing, uh, for being at 50 consecutive opening days. Opening days here at Dodger Stadium. Yeah. Out of 61, that is amazing. Yeah, especially yeah. COVID, he was here too. He stood outside the stadium. Oh, <laughs> 